You could soon be paying more for hundreds of food products, along with products made with steel and aluminum. The Trump administration has announced more future tariffs on Chinese goods. Last week, the U.S. imposed 25% tariffs on some Chinese goods, and China immediately retaliated against some U.S. products. News 4 Jacks reporter Jennifer Reddy is joining us live with some local expert opinion on when this trade war might start hitting your wallet. Jennifer? The latest round of tariffs being considered by the Trump administration imposes 10% tariffs on hundreds of Chinese products, many of which consumers and manufacturers here in the United States use regularly. Experts say you will not see an impact right now, but you may down the road. The trade war between the United States and China is ramping up with more potential tariffs on the way, leading some to wonder what impact they will feel. Yeah, at this point, it's, it's mostly jockeying for position. We're not seeing prices go up just yet. Joe Cryer is a senior wealth strategist at ACG Wealth. He says the tariffs mainly impact imports like cars and electronics. As for exports, it's primarily soybeans, poultry, and other agricultural products. The good news is Cryer says consumers most likely won't pay more for these products just yet. But if the trade war continues, manufacturers may have to pass that price on to consumers or take the hit financially. General Motors is going to have to pay more when they bring some of their cars that are assembled overseas in, and eventually that's going to trickle over to uh, consumers. Uh, companies are making decisions right now or halting decisions based on waiting for uh, to see how this is going to play out. The Florida Farm Bureau says the farming industry is one of those waiting to see what happens. A spokesperson says farmers in Florida and the entire United States rely on export markets. In the long run, the Florida Farm Bureau says it could be good for Florida farmers if an agreement is eventually reached. Right now, Joe Cryer tells me that one of the biggest impacts is really just fear within these industries while they wait to see what happens. But in the long run, if an agreement is reached, he says it could be very good for the United States. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, The Local Station.